We are switching it up a little bit here on Art Bros today. Switching gonna, it up. We're going to do some contemporary art this time. Mm-hmm. Um, went to a show over the weekend. Sapphire? Sapphire Lounge. I had a show with some contemporary artists. Mm-hmm. And this artist in particular stood out for me. Um, his name is David Aronson. Aronson, I believe I'm pronouncing that right. It's called Birds and Bugs. Mm-hmm. It's 23 by 14. Oh, sorry guys. 23 by 14. Oil on canvas with salvage six framing it. So the frame is actually part of the piece. That's interesting that it, he counted as part of the piece. I mean, it, it in my opinion, it is. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not uh, the frame, the whole thing. I like that. I do too. I do too. It's kind. Of, it's kind of like the the art is mm-hmm. coming out at you. It's it's transcending from the two D world into the three D world. It's transitioning into us. Shit, man! He broke the fourth <laughs> wall, artsy style. Yeah, um, it was made in two thousand thirteen, and I met this guy. He was a really cool dude. I, I saw him. He seemed yeah. cool. He, he's a really cool guy. Okay. So, uh, on to the piece. Uh, a little bit about David Aronson. He uh, says he originated, born in the Catskill Mountains. Mm-hmm. Um, we see there's all his pieces, the ones that I saw at least, all have to do with some, some form of nature. Mm-hmm. Um, and he spent some time near Boca Raton, uh, in between Boca Raton and Miami. So, there's swamp. Swamp right mm-hmm. there. We see that the palette is very uh, earth tony. Very earth tony. Even the reds, like not fully, like a you know, like really saturated reds. It's, it's a little earth tone in there. I, I see that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's definitely diluted with earth tones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that what you're trying to say, bro? Yes, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. So uh, looking at this, um, the first thing that pops to my head is obviously. There's an a, ch- a child with the head of an owl. Is it a child? I say it's a child because of the diminutive st- uh, stature. Uh-huh. Um, what if it's just a small person? It could be that too. With an owl head. It with could a be that pet too. Pet bird on a leash. That's not a bird. That's a mag magpie. 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 There we go. Oh, okay. The magpie. I had that established established the day. Were you almost slapped? Why? Maybe one <laughs> magpie pie magpie is magpie. bad luck. Okay. Uh, if you see one magpie, that's so it's a bad it's, omen. It's a bad omen, and she's keeping it as a pet. Yes, if that is a she. Yes, I'm gonna. I, have... I, I'm not. I'm not. You know, I'm all for. I'm assuming people. it's a she because. Uh, and the other thing, um, the adult. Obviously, we can tell it's an adult because of the breasts, the breasts, and the the obvious pubic, pubic hair. hair and the stature. Um, is a bug of some sort. It's a a, a fly. Uh, it's something. I like it. Um, Ironically, how the child is mm-hmm. wearing the head of a animal that's known as wise, wise, whereas the adult is wearing the head of an animal we see as a pest, mm-hmm. parasitic, uh, even. Par- parasitic. Yeah, yeah. Um, looking at this, uh, looking at Aronson's pieces, it actually he definitely had some. He definitely liked the occult, mm-hmm. you know, the, the mystic and folk. The, I, I see a lot of folk when I was watching when I was uh, viewing his pieces, like mm-hmm. that folk kind of influence thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see that. So that's quite, that's what drew me to it really when I was watching it. Yeah, yeah. Um, like even it's even like some kitschy elements like that wallpaper in the background. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Very. Very. Which I like. It, it juxtaposes what is going on here in this very surreal kind of thing. A very surreal. Um, I and like... to add to that, I, I like that. I can't really tell in the in the background over there. Because there's a horizon line, obviously cutting off like the carpet or the ground there. Mm-hmm. But that tall woman is still somehow leaning her elbow and arm against that on the on whatever that is in the background. Yeah, so perspective is being played around with there again, and that adds more to the surrealism of this situation. Yeah. And well, then, when you take a look at the work that he he displayed, it's definitely definitely dream dreamlike. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what drew me to it, um, and it's also like. Messing around with that, you know, very old thing in art of the portrait, or like in yes. this case, the family portrait. Yes, the family <laughs> portrait. You know, the parent, the kid, and the pet. Mm-hmm. In this case, the parent is a fly. The kid is a owl, and and the, the pet bad is a luck bad omen. luck omen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, what else? Do you, what else can we say about this piece? Hmm. Uh, mm, interesting. Interesting. I like it. It's interesting for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was one. It was one of my favorite pieces at the show. 
Mm-hmm. Um, the earth tones, you can definitely tell this guy likes nature. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of that in there. I like some of the colors that aren't quite as neutral, like that very um, saturated blue at the bottom. Right. And ju- and compare that with the red dress. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's got knows what he's doing with colors. Mm-hmm. He does. What can we say about the overall? What do you think Aronson is trying to tell us? What do you think? I'm still not fully sure, but I I know he's playing around with that concept of like the family portrait. Really. Very definitely. Mm-hmm. definitely. What exactly? Like uh, for me, the it, it's almost like he's mm-hmm. maybe mocking the, the concept of the traditional family kind of thing. I do believe so. Yeah. 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 I I would say that he's mocking it. Um, there's definitely some sort of morbid beauty mm-hmm. in this piece, and. Uh, yeah, the, the family portrait element. Once you once you told me about that, I can't stop seeing it now. Mm-hmm. But this is uh, Art Bros approved for me. Uh, Art Bros approved. And, so uh, Art Bro one and two. Do you have any final thoughts? <laughs> final thoughts. Uh, my my final thought was obviously Art Bros approved. So you can't steal that from me. <laughs> okay. So you better get your own idea, man. I will. I will. Uh, <laughs> my final thought on this piece is a uh, very very well made. The when you look at it in person, it's it's a lot different. Mm-hmm. You can see the textures, and you can see you can see the oil paints. Um, the glossiness of it mm-hmm. really, really brings out that dreamlike state. Mm-hmm. And the the fact that um, he decided to, I don't know if this is because of, of the paint he was using, but the fact that it seems sort of blurry. You've too. noticed that, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, very at the edge. Like, from far away, it looks very uh, clean, you know, uh-huh. crisp with the lines. But uh-huh. when you get in close in real person, it, there's like a blurring effect yeah. to it. And his uh, the the perception of anatomy is really well. Notice how on the body mm-hmm. he has he he displays lighting, whereas on the body of the child when my, when my it's kind of flat and very flat. Yeah, I like that. Mm-hmm. I do. It's kind of saying that this is a fully developed adult. Mm-hmm. This is a full. This is not a developed child. Again. Okay, Art Bros. Oh, Art Bros. Fist Pump. <laughs> Art Bros. Fist Pump. We just got into some deep shit right there. If you guys haven't, uh, David Aronson. Mm-hmm. Look him up on Facebook. Like his page. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's a friend of the show. I know this is the only portrait he sent us, but uh, trust us, the other ones looked really good. Yeah, they did. So they he, did. he might he, be someone to look out for. He touches on uh, sexuality. He touches on uh, gender roles. Mm-hmm. So his work really tries to um, bring to light some of these sort of mm-hmm. issues that we have going on today. Uh, all right. That being said, our pros out. Our pros out.